So, on your way to the mine? Actually, I want to see Raven. Hey, try to enter the temple and you're as dead as the prisoners here. Move your ass over into the mine instead. Why? Are they dead? They worked themselves to pieces. <laughs> Hey, do you want to go digging? Then don't forget to stock up with Scatty. What do I need, then? Well, at the very least, a pickaxe. And some provisions can't hurt. Or how about some healing potions? There are mine crawlers down there. What do I have to know about mining gold? Take a pickaxe in your hand and whack a lump of gold. Anyone can do that. But many nuggets will shatter that way. That's why only people who understand mining should do it. I can tell you more once you have some more experience. Tell me more about gold mining. Above all, you should know that gold is an ore. It's soft as butter. If you strike too hard, everything will shatter. Every digger has his own tricks for knocking some decent nuggets out of the rock. Ultimately, these tricks are what make the difference between a digger and a good digger. Besides that, practice makes perfect. Only when you've been digging for a while will you get better. How's business? Since the tomb has been open, there hasn't been much demand. Raven has no more use for his slaves. That's why they're mining gold now, on Bloodland's orders. And the diggers are taking it easy. Diggers who take it easy aren't good for business. Bloodwin, is he in charge here? He oversees the mine. But he's almost never down here. He spends most of his time with Raven in the temple. What exactly does almost never mean? Last time I saw him was when he came out of the tomb. No wait. The last time he was here was when he sent the slaves to mine the gold. Unlike Raven, he is very interested in gold. What sort of tomb? A cursed, unlucky tomb. The guardians of the tomb have killed many men. Guardians? Are you talking about creatures of stone, rather flat with a round head? That's exactly what I mean. They came out of the depths of the stone by the dozen. I knew from the beginning that it wasn't good to dig out the tomb. But Raven was possessed with the idea of digging there. And once the tomb was finally uncovered, he marched in there with his guards. What did Raven want in the tomb? Hmm, you're pretty curious. You remind me of a fellow I once knew. He was just as curious, and eventually it was his undoing. Get to the point. What happened in the tomb? Well, <clears throat> my throat is really dry. Hey, Scatty, not now. This is important. So what did Raven do there? All right. He... he called... summoned something. He kept calling out words in a foreign language. 
bright light poured out of the tomb, and then I heard a scream that cut right through me. A demonic scream. And then? That's all I know. At that moment, Bloodwind came out of the tomb and said I should beat it. And that's what I did. It also didn't take long before Raven and his boys disappeared back into the temple. And since then, Raven hasn't been seen. Would you like a drink? A beer would really hit the spot. There's hardly any beer here in camp. But maybe Lucia still has a bottle. There you go. Oh, that tastes good. Thanks, man. You're my hero. Let's deal. this forever. You should really have known better. That'll only cause more trouble. And there's more, believe me. Do you really think? Nothing there. thinks it's as easy as that. Hey! How's it going? I'm not going to the trouble of mining myself. We have enough slaves to do that for us. <laughs> we never came by our gold so easily. What do I have to know about mining gold? Always dig from bottom to top. That may be difficult, but that way you get more gold out of the rock. How's it going? I slaved the way for the ore barons long enough. It's good that someone else is digging now. What do I have to know about mining gold? Brain work, boy. Mining gold is a purely mental procedure. Don't try to force the rock. It's harder than you. Free your mind of everything. And try to become one with the gold. Then, it is like meditation. A prayer. Uh. Everything alright with you? 
The slaves are getting the big chunks out of our way. Then we'll harvest the golden fruit later. Well, I could have told you that before. Hey. I will never change. How's it going? As long as the slaves are working, I'm not budging a finger. Nobody wants to know. What do I have to know about mining gold? The legs. It's all in the legs. Strength and momentum come from the legs. Who told you that? Hey, you! Anything's possible. How's it going? I'm cooking a delicious stew for the diggers and guards. No but the slaves, they don't get anything. Some stale That's water exactly and old bread at the most. <laughs> that won't hurt those city Nobody boys. Wants to know. Tell me that isn't true. That'll only cause more trouble. He simply needs to practice more. Those are all just rumors. You don't have to tell me that. Well, I could have told you that before. He thinks it's as easy as that. Nobody ever asked me. Hey! I'm staying. Back at work? Yeah. Now I'm getting the very last piece of gold out of this guy. Can you judge my gold digging abilities? For you, I'd say you're uh, a damn good digger. And there's more, believe me. I wouldn't have done that. Things I can tell you. Why haven't I heard about this before? Hey, you! What are you doing? Are you melting down your gold? No, I'm washing vegetables. Of course I'm melting down gold, and I'm making coins out of it. Because just imagine, one fine evening Raven comes along and shoves a coin die in my hands. Out of one single gold nugget, I can mint a heap of coins. I'm so good that no one can tell the difference. How many coins will you give me for one nugget? Well, I don't know you at all, but I'll make you a special price. For one nugget, I'll give you 10 gold pieces. Let's haggle. Mm, no, that's the standard price everyone gets. I thought that was a special price. It is. Everyone here is special to me. What do you know about Raven? You won't believe it. I was there. I saw what he did in the tomb. He mumbled and called some strange words over and over. Cardimon, Fatang Shatar, Fatang Beliar. And then a blazing light came out of the tomb and I heard the scream. Oh, ye gods, that voice. That was the sound of the end of the world. Raven spoke with it. They conversed. Raven and that voice. I can't remember what they said. I just know that I could only master my limbs again many hours later, back in the camp. What with? That'll only cause more trouble. What does he know about duty? Hey, 
Where are you going? Do you want to go into this passage? Well, sure. Why not? There are even more slaves back there. As far as I'm concerned, you can go in. But don't hit them so hard they can't work anymore. After all, we certainly don't want them just sitting around. They have to dig for gold. I see. And who ordered that? That is a direct order from Bloodwind. I thought Raven was the boss here. Right, but he gave the slaves to Bloodwind. He doesn't have any more use for them. Hey, what do you want? I'm just an imprisoned worker. I haven't done a thing. Hey, you. Hey, I'm all right. But Pardis is pretty much down and out. If there's anything you want, talk to Patrick. He's our spokesman. Hey. I've been sent by the water mages. I've come to free you. Really? Well, why should I believe you? Do you want to get out of here or not? Of course I want to get out, but... Uh... Vatra sent me. If that's not enough for you, you can all rot in this hole for all I care. All right, I believe you. Really? Wow, that went faster than I thought. Okay, now all we need is a plan. Trying to flee poses a great risk. William tried and he bought it. Prisoners of peasants and workers, they trust me, but they won't dare to mount an escape. What do you want me to do? Get you a pardon from Raven? Hey, not a bad idea, but that can't be the plan. Just see to it that the guards don't attack us, and then we'll get out of here. Okay, I'll handle that. Tell the others to get ready. How are you holding up? I'm beat. Completely worn out. Is it a glorious sunny day or one of those clear nights where a thousand stars are twinkling? I don't know. Where's the gentle rain of summer? The cool evening breeze. I can feel them no longer. It's the eyes that go first in here. Hang in there. Your rescue is near. Thanks. Thanks for your words. Here, drink this. Thanks. That does me good. Hey, you! What do I have to know about mining gold? Well, the angle at which you strike is crucial for efficient mining. Not too flat and not too steep. That way, you'll get the nuggets and make your pick hold up forever. Hey! Wait a minute. Is there a problem? Mine crawlers. Lots and lots of mine crawlers. We've run into a nest here. Why don't we attack the crawlers? I asked that too. But the guards had more important things to do. Bloodwind has left it to me to remove this problem. I don't suppose you're planning to fight the crawlers. Why should I? So that we can get at the gold in the cave? Bloodwin will just take most of it for himself anyway, and I'm not risking my neck for the little bit I'd get. If you want to fight the crawlers, don't let me stop you. Only don't lure them all out here, okay? Can you tell me more about Bloodwin? Yes, he's a gold-hungry bastard. He inspects every new vein and every nugget. He can't go too far out of his way for gold. 
but we don't mean shit to him. And otherwise? He thinks he's the greatest, and can't stand it if someone is better off than he is. Okay, I wouldn't go up against him, even so. Just stay out of his way and don't provoke him, unless you want him to get furious and lose control. Nothing to be had there. 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 Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. So, that should be it. The crawlers are finished. Bloodwind is already on the way. That's what you wanted, isn't it? I mean, you slaughtered the crawlers so Bloodwind would come here. So whatever you're planning, do it now.
Hey. You killed the mine crawlers? Good. I'll take over now. Go on. Beat it. Wait a minute. You still aren't gone? We still have to set something straight. I'm looking for Raven. Yeah. And what makes you think that Raven wants to talk to you at all? Wait. Are you? Is it you? You're the guy we've been looking for for the whole time. What are you doing here? You should be long dead. People are always telling me that. Those morons all failed. But you won't get past me. This time I'll finish you. Like I already said, it's Raven I'm looking for. You aren't important to me. I'll kill you. I've survived every battle so far. Everything comes to an end. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll defeat you all the same. And I survived the explosion of the barrier without a scratch. And who do you think brought down the barrier? Ah, you miserable dog. You can't defeat me. I'm Raven's best friend. His right hand. Yes, that was his biggest mistake. Ah, you miserable dog! Enough talk. Let's fight. It's too late for you anyway. Raven is opening the temple right now. Ha ha ha! Die, bastard! <laughs> Hey, you sure showed that bum. Nice work. Then I'll take a look around the cave. That's no secret. That's no secret. Let the slaves go. Listen. Bloodwin is in command here. The slaves belong to him, so he has the right to set them free. Besides, Thoris also has a say in that. And what about you? Do you have any say? Here, is that enough? No, no. I will put that away. I, I don't want to see that. It would be better for you if you let the slaves go now. Wait a minute. Bloodwind isn't the only one who has a say here. So long as I don't have an order from Thoris, no one will be set free. But you just said that the slaves belong to Bloodwin. Yes, but I also said that I won't set anyone free without an order from Thoris. You're one of those guys who won't take a leak without orders, eh? I used to say that myself. That's totally obvious. I will never change. They all ran like rabbits. I was completely alone. I couldn't get away with that. Who told you that? It was his decision, wasn't it? Anything's possible. He simply needs to practice more. Well, I could have told you that before. What are you planning? What? Now you've cleared Bloodwin out of the way too. I'm just asking myself who's next, Raven or me? Are you afraid? I'm not afraid of a fight, but I am afraid of the consequences of your actions. This camp is the only thing we have left. It may not have always run to perfection, but it does run. 
and with every person you kill, another piece of our community breaks up. We are bandits, outcasts, lawbreakers, desperados. Wherever we go, we're hunted, locked up, and killed. There is no better place for us than this, no better time than now. What are you getting at? These men need someone to lead them. Who should that be? You? You, who is constantly roaming from place to place? Then you take over the leadership of the camp. Okay, but what about Raven? Raven will soon have other worries. I'll take care of him. Oh, yes, and make sure that the prisoners can leave the camp in peace. All right. I shall take care of all the guards out here. Tell me that isn't true. It's possible. Let the slaves go. Do you have... Don't have to ask me that. I talked with Thoris. He ordered the slaves to be set free. Okay, if Thoris ordered it, but I have to ask myself why he decided on something like that. But you aren't being paid to ask questions. All right, all right. I'm obviously not needed here anymore, so I'll go get me some stew. All's well. You can make yourselves scarce. Great. I know a cave in the swamp that we can gather for now, but then what? Leave the swamp towards the southwest. The water mages have set up their camp near the ruins of the old temple. They're going to show you the way out of this valley. Thanks, thank you so much. We are all very deeply... Uh... Never mind. Hey, slow down. You aren't getting in there, so beat it. Get out of my way. I have to see Raven. No one enters these quarters. Direct orders from Raven himself. Here. Do you still want to stop me now? Is, is that... 
Is that blood one? Oh, that's... Oh, oh. Uh, yes, uh, 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 no, I mean, uh, uh, you can go in. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to plunder.
What with? About Raven. I made my way into Raven's quarters. And? What about Raven? I came too late. He disappeared into the Adonis Temple right before my eyes. What? That is a catastrophe. Why didn't you follow him? I couldn't follow Raven. He blocked the entrance from inside. I must think. The question is, how did Raven get into the temple? And what did he do before he passed through the portal? He spoke an incantation at the gate. And before that? He opened a burial chamber. I already told you about that. Right. A ritual. Yes, that's it. I fear that Raven has made the power of the Guardians of the Dead his own. He got his knowledge of the temple from a spirit. You must go to Mixier and tell him about this. Ab I'll see. Good. May Adonos protect you. Hey! Saturus sent me. Raven has made his way into the temple and blocked the portal from the inside. Saturus thinks he got his information about the temple from a ghost. By Adonis! He must have summoned the High Priest Cardamon to ask him about a way into the temple. According to the records, his grave was in the caves under the fortress. You will have to do the same. But you cannot ask Cardamon any more. The grave of the warrior prince Quahodron is supposed to lie in the west of the valley. You will have to find it and waken Quahodron. It is written in these inscriptions how a believer of Adonos can summon a spirit. Do you think that'll really work? I've read a lot of crazy ramblings. For example, the writings of Iberian, the leader of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. But I believe every word of the author of these writings. The Brotherhood of the Sleeper didn't spread just lies. The Sleeper really existed. But it wasn't their lies that made them implausible. It was their words as such. They were more confusing than believable. They showed the excessive use of the swamp weed they smoked. It is the seriousness and prudence in the words on this stone tablet that convinced me that this man wrote the truth. Why Korhodron? Why not the High Priest Cardamon? Raven has desecrated the grave of Cardamon with his summoning. We can assume that. We shall have to look for another spirit. Are you really serious? I want to explore every possibility. Even if there is only a ghost of a chance for us to meet one of the Builders, then we have to do it. Raven has managed to do it, after all. Assuming I want to summon this ghost, what do I have to do? Find Quarhodron's grave in the west of the valley. His ghost can be summoned by the words of the Guardians of the Dead, which I have written for you here. That's all. Now you just have to find the grave. Good luck, my son.
There's another of those scummy beasts. Put that weapon away. Come here, damn beast. Hey, look, I've still got it. Another one of those things. Come here, damn beast. One less monster around. Nothing to be had there.
nothing to be had there. I think I've found something. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What the hell are you doing here? I came to the remotest spot on the island because I finally wanted some peace. Civil war, bandit raids, hordes of orcs outside my door. That just wasn't my thing. I've retired from that madness. There may be orcs here, but not very many. And other people, thank Enos, never show up here until today. And how's life as a dropout? I built everything myself. My weapons, my tools, my hut, everything. Came here with nothing but a good mood. Sometimes, though... Yes? Sometimes I wish I'd had at least taken a few clothes with me. I don't know how to weave or tan hides. And the nights aren't exactly warm in this part of the island. I'm searching for stone tablets. You wouldn't happen to have found any. Yes, but I'm keeping them. They're the only thing there is to read around here. I may not understand all of it yet, but I've been able to decipher some of the texts. About the stone tablets. Shall I teach you to read them? But you won't get mine. You'll have to find your own. I have some clothes for you. Really? Show me. Let's see if they fit. They do! Well, what do I do now? I gave all my gold to the pirates for the crossing. All I can give you is a couple of old stone tablets. Here, take them. By all means, I'll, I'll look for some new ones. Uh, shall I teach you to read?
I've activated another one of the teleporter stones. You have done really well. I can only congratulate you on your work. They're all working again now. An impressive sight, don't you think? Here are a few gold coins. Shall I teach? Well, it's quite simple. A G is an O, a T is an H, and an I is a C. If you understand that, the rest is quite logical. 